Welcome to Eagles Healing Hope Broadcast. This is your Badger Healing Evangelist, Felicia Claiborne. You can like our Facebook page. It's entitled Eagles Healing Hope Broadcast and Healing Weeks International Ministry. You can also join our groups on Facebook under the same names. This is brought to you by the Partners for Warriors and Supporters of Healing Weeks International Ministry. We will talk about how we should treat others. Let's pray. Dear, dear Lord Jesus, you are the wise one, the respectable one. You are the holy one of Israel. You are the Alpha and Omega, beginning and the end. And Lord, we ask you to open up our ears to hear and our spirit to receive the word of God. Release salvation, healing, deliverance, signs, wonders, and miracles. Release fresh revelation and confirmation of your word. In Jesus' name, amen. How we should treat others. The Bible has much to say about human behavior and the way we should treat each other. There are thousands of specific directions for doing so, but there can all be summarized in what we know as the golden rule. And you could go back to, <clears throat> we did a broadcast on the golden rule. You can go back to it. It's, a, it's on YouTube. When we treat others as we want to be treated, we will be honest, kind, trustworthy, and loving. We all need honesty, kindness, and etc. from other people. So we should be equally concerned with giving those things to other people. When God first gave the law to Moses, he included hundreds of instructions about the way the Israelites were to treat each other. They were immersed um, in a world that were violent, godless, and wicked. When God chose them to be a holy people set apart for himself, he was very specific about what was allowed and what was forbidden. Every culture has its own mores and social customs. Part of treating others as we wish to be treated is to honor those customs at so at as not to offend. When missionaries move to another part of the world, they call. They are careful to study the customs of, of that culture and blend in as much as possible. They know that they cannot effectively share Christ with someone they are offering. For example, in cultures where women wear hair coverings in public, a female missionary will wear a hair covering so that so as not to offend the culture she wants to reach. In other cultures people sit on the ground to eat, even though the missionaries may prefer to sit in a chair. They will set aside preference in order to love their neighbor as Christ loved them. Jesus is our model. He is fully God, deserving of all honor and glory. Yet because he loves he loved the human beings he had created, he set up aside his right as God to take on human flesh and come to earth to live among us. He voluntarily accepted the limitations of a fleshly body in order to connect with us. He lived as we live, hurt as we hurt, and fought temptation as we do. In doing so, he gave us an example of how he expects us to be to treat others. Treating others as we would, would be treated means we must be willing to set aside our preferences, our own preferences, rights, and desires in order to serve those in our lives. As a, as a mother loses sheep, sac sleep, sacrifices, finances, and care for the children she loves, uh, so we are to give our own comforts for 
the good of others. Jesus did exactly that. When our focus is on treating others as Jesus would, we don't need a human, I mean, excuse me, a hundred specific laws telling us not to murder, steal, rape, abuse, or lie, or tell stories if you, if you want to use that. A heartfelt with the love of God will never treat others that way when the heart is right right actions will follow if you want the lord as your personal savior i want you to pray this prayer and really mean it say dear lord jesus i come to you as a sinner i ask you to wash and cover my sins in the blood of jesus i believe that jesus is the son of god and god has raised him from the dead i open up the door and let jesus in my life and i confess that i am saved thank you lord for saving my soul. Teach me to read the Bible. Send me to a good church and fill me with your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. That's it, my friend. Rejoice. Welcome to the family of God. Your name is Renetta Lance, Book of Life and the Race Off the Quarters of Hell. Get your Bible, start reading the book of Psalms and Proverbs. Proverbs will teach you how to live, and Psalms will teach you how to pray, to worship, and pray. Thank you for watching the Eagles Healing Hope broadcast. We pray that you have been blessed and encouraged. If you have any prayer requests and praise reports, you can email us at healingwings, I-N-T-L ministry at gmail.com. Inbox us on Facebook at Eagles Healing Hope broadcast or Healing Wings International Ministry pages. You can sow your seed by cash app at dollar sign Blondie Badger. And that's spelled B-L-O-N-D-I-E-B-A-D-G-E-R. Or you can mail a, mail a check on money order. Make it payable to Healing Wings International Ministry. And box us on Eco Healing Hope Broadcast or Healing Wings International Ministry pages to get the address to make your seat. Your offers will go to further the kingdom of God. I want you to like our Facebook page, Eco Healing Hope Broadcast and Healing Wings International Ministry. And also subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is called Healing Wings International Ministry. You can do it on your computer, tablet, phone, laptop, and TV. All you have to do is go to YouTube, put in the search bar, Healing Wings International Ministry. You'll see some of our broadcasts pop up. All you have to do is just click on there and watch one. Or you can go to our channel. Our channel logo is a blue background with a white dove with a wing in its, uh, with its claw, with a, um, with a, uh, a, uh, it's a blue background with a, a claw, with a bird with a claw in this branch. I mean, with branch in this, <laughs> in this claws. And all you have to do is go in and see more of our broadcasts and uh, click the subscribe button and also click the bell. You'll be notified when we have a new broadcast. This was brought to you by the Partners for Warriors and Supporters of Healing Wings International Ministry. Key hope a lot. And remember, there is hope. Be blessed.